What's going on guys? Royal Flush YGO with my friend Real Victor Hi. and we're showing off his first place locals Nick. Abyss deck profile. Ogdoatic. Nick. <laughs> Whatever. Nick. Anyways, I, it was hilarious the first time I played it. I put the deck together in like a day and just thought, hey, let's see if it works. So apparently it did okay. First place locals. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> tell us about some of the decks you played real quick. Like let, let them... Uh, okay, so uh, I did play Sky Strikers until Engage got banned. Sorry, I'm not playing that deck without Engage. I tried. Uh, Thunder Dragons, even after Colossus got hit, because that's actually pretty. Talking um, about what you played that's a great against. resume, but I meant what you played We're against. You, played you against, said what bro. you played. 100% I understand him, but... <laughs> you said what I play, not what I played. What'd you play against? Go. Oh, fine. <laughs> Trap Tricks, Ritual Beasts, and uh, Zulich. What? What a local... Control, control, control. What a locals. Dude, it control, Welcome control, control, and he still took first place. Welcome to 2021. It's it's crown season. We need to control everything. But, with that being said, you know, we're going to get right into the deck profile. It's a really nice deck. I, it's nice. It's honestly the most competitive of the three. Yeah. Probably, yeah, because it has a self-recurring engine. I mean, what kind of a dude plays bears? I do. I'm playing Pendulum Best I mean, you play, Apo you play Apollosa. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's start off with the package. Uh... I'm running very different from most people, I think. Uh, I'm running one queen. Uh, I'm not running a king, because I don't feel he does anything useful. And at least she can send a monster to your opponent controls to the graveyard. Um, <laughs> as K Kid KR shortens the camera uh, angle. <laughs> as I try to make the cards visible. There you go. Here you go, queen. Minor Me. interference. Yeah. Boop. Queen. So... I am running two Kyrs. I think that's how you pronounce it. I honestly don't Ooh. know. Uh, I am running... The Light Ogdoa Dick. Yes. I am running uh, two Alarits. So usually people run these as one of, including this one, the King, and the Overlord, whatever. I actually like them at two because I don't like the King. And if I draw into one or one of these, or even, even both of these, it's still not the end of the world. Yep. Uh, I run, of course, three of a Nalia, uh, and three Nunu. You always run three of the level fours because they're your combo starters. They literally make your entire deck function without Snake Rain. And then I'm running one uh, Zohan. I call him that because of the Adam Sandler movie. I love it. I know it's terrible, but I love it. You don't mess with Zohan. <laughs> yep. But uh, he's fine. You can Foolish Burial him and get uh, one of the big boys out of your hands. One of either Karus or Alert. Oop, there. Alert or Karus or even the Queen, if need be. Recommendation. If you are playing against Eldritch or Shadals or uh, certain decks, don't even activate his effect. Just don't. Just don't give uh, Eldritch free pluses. Don't give Shadals a way to stop you on your turn for no reason. Yeah. So basically, his, he has a summon effect that allows you to search and your opponent draws a card and discards a card you both do but it's it's better if you just foolish barrel him and discard a card add him to your hand it's just utility for the deck that's it you don't really want to search him uh n then i am running two kage to kage that spice so mm. i like running him as an extra body because he's gonna he can make for a rank four material it's pretty neat uh, next, I am running two Arima the w Wicked Warden. Uh, I'm running a small layer package in here. It's working out so well so far. I've drawn to it when I need it. Uh, I'm also running a, sm a proper size invoke engi invoked engine, I should say. I'm running three Alistair. And then I'm running three Ash Blossom as the hand traps. And for the invoked package, I am running three Meltdown and two invocation, and for the layer package, I am simply running two layer of darkness. No traps, just the layer for the tributes. It actually works pretty well, and I find the traps are a bit clunky in this deck that can break as is. So now I'm running three lily. Uh, you need to run this at three. It is a foolish burial and a free special summon if you have four or five or more. I think uh, reptiles in the graveyard with different names. Fun yeah. fact: It took me forever to realize that was actually a lily on the water. I thought it was like something else. It's a lily with the uh, overlord looking in the reflection. Yeah. Now I'm gonna watch Mulan. And now the three, now a three of the best card of ever any type ever, three snake rain. 
I love this card. Not and I collector's love, rare. <laughs> I want to get collector's rare. They're yeah. stupid expensive right now. They will go down eventually. But I do have stupid expensive cards in here. I know, shush. Uh, so next I'm running two Pot of Prosperity. I rarely see this. Uh, but honestly, I side these out going game two and side in like floodgates and uh, lightning storm and stuff like that. If you don't want to spend a million dollars, just swap Ash for trade-in. It's in the set. Drop, swap Pot of Prosperity for trade-in. For trade-in too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> running one terraforming, one foolish burial, and one monster reborn. As one pendulumucho. Pendulumucho. <laughs> I love pendulumucho. <laughs> okay, so Sorry. now on to this. Should oh, we do not. side deck or extra deck next? You guys. Side and then extra. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, normally, one go. Whatever. So I am running one uh, Ogdo Abyss, the Ogdoidic deity. He. Uh, He's fine as a side deck option. Going second, you could just Foolish Barrel him, summon him, and quick effects send everything. I am running three Lightning Storm. Uh, you can run you can run like Twin Twisters instead. It's perfectly fine. Not Starlight. <laughs> it's for the go No, it's okay. Really. It's too uh, so I'm running two Lancia. Uh, if your stuff gets banished, it kind of sucks. Even though they do insane. banish themselves, and you can recycle them to a point. But if they banish more than like two of your things that shouldn't be banished, someone drops a Dimension Shifter chain. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. But uh, you can chain that to Dimension Shifter. You can. You can. You can. Uh, I'm running three Forbidden Droplets. I don't know of a substitute for this because this card gives you utility <clears> of getting <throat> your bricks out of your hand and negating monster effects at the same time. Confirm. In case you couldn't tell, the real victor is the rich one of the team. <laughs> <laughs> Imperm. <laughs> yes. Uh, then I play Impermanence as well. Uh, Forbidden Chalice. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the, the cheaper versions that you can play. Yeah. That will effectively do the same thing. Yeah. I don't. I can't think of thing, anything off the top of my head for forbidden droplets as a replacement that would Charles. like dis discard stuff out of your hand. But hey, I mean, you find your own tech, do your own testing, find out what you like. Now I'm running the rest of my layer package in my side deck: one Diabolos, one Arima, and one Layer. I actually did side all three of these in in one game, and actually helped me out a lot. I didn't summon Diabolos, but I saw Layer more, and I w I was kind of happy with that. Diabolos, best dragon in the game. There, there's a world where there are cards in your deck you don't want to use, like the level four that you don't want to activate against the dolls, and then you'll swap it out for yeah. a Layer card that you would prefer to. Have. And honestly, I was actually citing out one invocation going second because if I'm going first, I would need two invocation going. Going first, I would need two invocation. Going second, I only need one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, it's the Euro print. It always does that. Yeah. Euro prints are the best. Not for Fusion Enforcers or for oh, Duel of Saga. Uh, so onto the extra deck, I am running one Artemis. This used to be Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. I swapped it out because I did find one duel where I did not draw into another level four, and I did draw into Alistair. So I still won that duel, but a it helps. Can't to see it keep too well. It. It's collector. Yeah, it is collector. I got it when Ooh. it was cheap. And How much? It was like. 25 30 bucks 30 at the time. Oh. It's now like 70, I think. Yeah. Something like that. I, whatever. Uh, I'm running one cross sheet just for extension if for need be. Most of the time I don't actually summon this, but it, it's there in case. Uh, one reptilian echidna because this card facilitates an OTK. And it's a reptile and it matters that it's a reptile. <laughs> I don't run the alien shock trooper link because I'm not running the OTK variant and I'm not running Bish Balkan. Please don't. It makes the deck break harder. When does... Yeah. Uh, you have to run a normal a normal monster. No, I was going to say, wouldn't this be a better OTK because it drops something to zero? Yeah, it does, but the Bish Balkan play actually sets up turn one with like a oh. whole bunch of monsters on board. Okay. It's very weird. Uh, next one, one King of the Feral Imps. I don't use him a lot. Why is he not a super... Yeah, I don't get it. Um, but he uh, he Collector's does search right. any reptile, so if you're missing a piece and you have an Alistair and another monster on board, you can just make it and search whatever piece you're missing. That should have been a Collector's Rare instead of Trade-In. Sorry, blue Eyes player. Oh, uh, yeah, I do agree with that. I agree with this one. Uh, and Trade-In should have... Okay, so this should have been a Rare and a Collector. Trade-In should have been a Super Rare and then nothing else. Sorry, blue Eyes players, not mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, I run one Abyss Dweller. Uh, yeah, it hurts you, but it hurts your opponent a lot when there's when there's stuff That's going down. That's an ulti. Yes, thank you, David or Fonte Gamer. <laughs> uh, so next, I run <coughs> the uh, Rika package. Game. It's a two-card engine of Rika Queen Strana and a Sacred Tree Beast Hyperion because you just make her 
tribute her with one of the Ogdoidic monsters, and she summons this and equips herself to it. So, or over, puts herself as overland material. And the OTK I mentioned with uh, Reptilian Echidna is Driglubion and number 100. So this just makes basically makes a 9,000 attack point beat stick. You can swing at a zero attack point monster. Sit down, double or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and to facilitate that, I also run Hope Harbinger. If you're going first, most of the time you summon this and you don't actually bother with the Draglubion engine because you can just OTK next turn anyway <clears throat> if, you're, if you last. Uh, I run one, or uh, Dengirsu, Orcus of the Evening Star. <sighs> <laughs> ha ha shush. Ah, I need one more ultimate ray. <laughs> Best way to get out of Dragoon for this deck, I guess. I've actually found his protection effect is so much better than his than his send effect because I just make this and then they can't get rid of my negate. It's <clears throat> oh, kind of yeah. cool. His, uh, he's versatile. His um his effects are completely situational depending. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm running one Zeus. Uh yes, that is a starlight. <laughs> Shiny cargo bird. Yeah. Uh, my, my eyes. The <laughs> so, I've never actually summoned him, but he is a contingency plan just in case you need a full board wipe. Honestly, your best bet would just be to summon him off of Hi on top of Hyperiton because Hyperiton keeps gaining materials on your turn when you activate card effects. It's the boss monster of what are those little bunnies? Zeus? No, the, the, the Zootia. Melfi's. Melfi's. It's, it's the boss monster of Melfi's. <laughs> uh, and to round out my invoked package, I am running uh, one Kaliga. This card single-handedly shuts down a lot of decks. You make this last, and your opponent just looks at you. If you can protect this, you're golden. Uh, then I run two Makaba because running one is suicide, and running one in a Purgatrio feels real bad when you don't have enough room for Almirage. When you go to turn two, you cry because you can't do anything with it. Bro, when you activate yeah. Invocation, and then they they chain Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries and take out their Macabas. <laughs> hey, it's a running that in their, ex their deck, fine. Um, normally, for your hand, if you want to do if you want to do like proper combo, if you get a way to get Alistair and either of the small level fours. Oh, yes, yeah, those are different ones. Yeah, either of these plus Alistair and like. One more card usually gets you about about full combo. It can be ta it can be a little tricky depending if they ash this. But honestly, if you open Snake Rain and you can just prevent them from ashing your Snake Rain, you're fine. Just normal Alistair make them cry. Yeah, normal Alistair, and send one of these, make them ash that, and then activate Snake Rain, and you basically have your full engine because your full engine is one of each of these, and one of each oh. of the big ones. <laughs> Of the big ones. The one. Sorry. Yeah, that's, um, that's the deck profile. It's actually a really decent deck. I didn't think much of these. I didn't think these were going to be any good. I didn't think they were going to be like Eldritch or anything, but hey, they've actually proven to be pretty competitively viable. I did not expect anything of this deck. I got it simply because Kid Care over here tempted me with my addiction to opening packs, and we split a case, and I made this, and I okay. thoroughly enjoyed it. So be prepared, guys. Um, we will have a combo tutorial next time for you guys. So till then, like, subscribe, share, wash your hands, and wear a mask. Please. Even Please. if the state says don't, just wear it. Just, just be it. safe and think of your fellow man and continue to be awesome. Remember, we're in Florida. <laughs> That's right. Continue to be awesome. Bye. Later, guys.